Double K Beats, Double K Productions, I am back, new year, new me, back with something for y'all, it's been a long time, four weeks actually since I post something, now let's get into it, I want to give y'all something for this new year, this is how you mix professional vocals, R&B vocals, so I ain't gonna do too much talking, cause a lot of people say I do too much talking, so let's go ahead and jump into it and show y'all what I got going on on these vocals, so if I don't get into uh, everything, Tell me, I, I make another tutorial because they say I do too much talking, so I got to cut down on explaining what I got going on here. So let's get into it, man. Hold on. It's called Oceans by a good artist named Marcellus Wilson. Check him out. I'll go ahead and turn on the effects for y'all. I say I turn on the effects. Oh yeah, my daughter's strolling, so uh, y'all might have to bear with that. She's strolling around this joint. So let's do this right here. Oceans, baby. I'm gonna turn them on. They just my computer slow as hell. Can't and can't pick up the damn CPUs. So I just say it's slow, man. It's just too much effects going on. So I'll turn on the intro for y'all. Hit, hit what I got going on on it. Girl, stop with the mic. Get the mic on. What are you doing? Tripping. She tripping. what I got on the intro he actually said he don't want that intro he want to do it over or just have that uh, water effect going in it as you heard so he basically don't even like that but I turned the reverb off to that ocean baby let me turn that back on so y'all can hear how that sound Ocean, baby. And uh, that's pretty much it on that one. He, like I say, he did. Uh, he really don't even want that hook, or say he want to do it over. So what he wanted me to do is just add this a water effect. Come on now, this tripping, man. Turn them all back on, man. And I know y'all wondering what, what I got going on in the effects. I get into that. I'm just showing y'all this out. Oceans, dive inside your oceans. You gon' think I'm chosen. I'm the way I shrunk, yeah. Open, got your legs wide open. Get prepared for a soaker. But what I really want to show y'all is this throw hook, man. He said he love this hook that I got going on in here. So let's go ahead and turn all these effects back on. But uh, and then we uh, we'll rock with it like that. Come on, my man. Shit. I'm sorry, y'all. I am, I apologize to the fullest, man. Should have looked out this up. That should give me some room. I wanna dive, I wanna dive, I wanna dive. Yeah. I wanna dive, I wanna dive, I wanna dive. I wanna dive, I wanna dive, I wanna dive. I wanna dive. Yeah, I wanna dive, I wanna dive. It's not true. And I love that hook right there. So let me go ahead and jump in what I got going on, and then we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping up the video because I don't want to make it too long. I'm only four minutes in. I'm doing good. See, when you less talk, you get more done. 
I get what you're saying, fellas. I get what you're saying. New Year. Happy New Year's, by the way. And uh, let's get this tutorial done so I can get this up on there. Get it for y'all to see. Uh, Crama tape. For these particular vocals, I wanted to use that Crama tape to get that, you know, that, that airy effect, that good old uh, tapey effect. I don't know how to explain it, but... As you see, I didn't do too much to it. I actually turned the noise down a little bit and turned the oil, the flutter down a little bit on it because it was too much for me. So I just tweaked those two knobs and left it the same. As you see, I got it on master, clean and open. It's a preset I use. Then the EQ, back though with the EQ. Let's uh let's play it for y'all. It might not be right here. And uh let's go ahead and show y'all. I got the T Pain effect. Uh, F minor that turned it down a little bit and all of them is the same and then uh, pretty much in I got the one knob on the vocals what's up sweet sweet so uh, I know I'm just going backwards here like I know what I normally do stop girl uh, let's turn them on turn them off for y'all yeah show y'all that let's turn them on I wanna die, I wanna die, I wanna die. I wanna die, I wanna die, I wanna die. I wanna die, I wanna die. And that's the EQ. Nothing too major boost. Take out them lows. Simple, very simple. Cleaning up the focus. I only use, like I say, if you watch my previous tutorials, which I'm glad if you did, uh, I use a bus just to clean up the vocals and the rest, like you see T Pain, One Knob, and just. Uh, reverb here and there on, on just on the uh, channels itself, the tracks itself, like the faders itself, all that good stuff. And then I got a uh, compressor right after the EQ Foul filter and go ahead and get the splash back though with uh VM VMR by uh Slate Digital. Uh mainly wanna EQ it again after I compress a little slightly and then I had a revival on there to get that um some of that Thick, the thickness back into it with the thickness and the shimmer, you know, same thing. But that's why I like the reviver because it actually put that back in it. If you if you too thin with the EQs or whatnot. I know, oh, yeah. Pay attention. I'm up here uh, turning this on and off. Backdoor, channel strip. I always add this channel strip stock plug in. Channel strip by Studio One, obviously. Uh, go ahead and take out a little bit of lows. Some more and low. Take out a little bit of more of them lows again. And then I just boost the mids and the highs. Just, just where I want it with my ears, man. But not least, I back don't compress at all. So I make sure it's compressed and leveled right with the vocals, man. And uh not too much, fast attack, fast release on the last on the last compressor. And uh threshold and the ratio is normally where I stay with the ratio, but the thresholds change very with every mix I do. So it's 21 on this one and I added four four dB back into it. So this is what you got. I wanna dub, I wanna dub, I wanna dub. I wanna dub, I wanna dub, I wanna dub. Yeah, I wanna dub, I wanna dub. It's such a potion. As you hear, uh, this compressor actually does does its job on the last part. Give me that, give me that clarity of the vocals. What I'm trying to move, what I was looking for. I wanna dub, I wanna dub. I wanna dub, I wanna dub, I wanna dub. I wanna dub, I wanna dub. And that's what you get right there. And with the reverb, 
nothing too major on the reverb. Uh, I use the Slate Digital. I love this reverb. You actually, got to know how to get, learn how to use it, and it actually works out good. Preset, wide, rich vocal room. I actually got. To, I actually do go through a lot of reverb presets to try to figure out what sounds best because reverb is kind of hard. You don't want to add too much and it drown out the vocals and stuff like that. That's just my my ears of taste and stuff like that. So I had a good little reverb on there, and I back door added uh some auto tune on it. Let's go ahead and uh. Solo that one out for you and not solo me. If I wanna die, if I wanna die, I wanna die. Let's over exaggerate this uh this auto tune T Pain effect for y'all to see how it really sounds. If I wanna die, if I wanna die, I wanna die, if I wanna die, if I wanna die. I wanna die, if I wanna die, if I wanna die. Yeah, I wanna die, if I wanna die inside your ocean. Perfect, perfect, right key, right scale, all on point. So put that back to where it was. And um, with the, with this effect, you uh, if you have different tastes, like you have a hook, dub, and a dub two, a dub three for harms, basically, and some more harms. So you always, you do not want to do it hard because you actually hear all vocals as one. You're really not hearing like, okay, I can hear the dub or I can hear the arms. You know, you know what I'm saying? You're hearing it all at once. So you do not want to put hard. You want to put them all, like, tweak them a little lower. Like, this one might be right here. Then this one might be up a little bit more and stuff like that. Tweaking it just just slight. But if you had the good auto-tune plug-in, the Autoris, whatever it's called, you never can get that name right, then you tweak it however you want on that. But on this plug-in, this is what I'm talking about. This is the only other tune plug-in I got. That's what I can afford. So anyway, that's what I'm. That's what I mean about uh the uh style soft or hard. You don't want to put it all on hard because you're hearing the vocals as one. Obviously, sorry, my daughter sitting here strolling. She's in a stroller. She's strolling, hitting the mic, and uh. Ooh. Anyway, new year, new me. I told y'all we live. We're getting this done. Uh. And that's what I got. If I wanna die, if I wanna die. So I wanna die, if I wanna die, if I wanna die. Let's bring it. If I wanna die, if I wanna die. I wanna die, if I wanna die, if I wanna die. Let's bring it. If I wanna die, if I wanna die. I wanna die, if I wanna die, if I wanna die. I don't know where that was at. Let's bring in the horn. If I wanna die, if I wanna die. I wanna dive, I wanna dive, I wanna die. I wanna dive, I wanna dive, I wanna die. Yeah, I wanna dive, I wanna dive inside your oceans. Beautiful, beautiful, that way that rides out inside your oceans. I'm not a damn singer, as you can hear. My voice, my voice is bassy. I'm a rapper, though. Anyway, uh... As you heard the horns in there, it actually went well, but the mixing, it all goes down on the mixing with the horns and, and, and panning. As you see the horns right here, horn one, horn two, the way I like to name it, uh, pan, panned, left and right, and also if you got dubs, you want to pan those, but all these, if you have horns, the most definitely background vocals, whatever the case may be, you want to pan those. You do not want those center because it got too many layers on top of the first layer. And what I mean by the first layer is this. First take, always going to be the best take, most likely. You do not want everything just drowning that out. And that's simple. I mean, that's stuff you should know, but that's just my explaining. I want to die, if I want to die. And that's pretty much it, what I got on this song. This song is not even done. Like, we took, uh, what, three and a half hours just to do these few parts. Singing takes a while, but we did Three and a half hours just to do an intro, the bridge, and the hook to get it right how he wanted the sound. And we're not even done. He still got a second verse to do. A first verse, second verse, and sing the hook over again. Like another part of the hook, he's going to sing differently. So we got a long way on this song. I just wanted to show y'all how you mix professional sound songs and R&B songs. So that's what this is about, getting taking household vocals and making them sound professional 
these days. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what this tutorial is about. So hopefully you got something off this tutorial and learned something from this tutorial. And if I didn't cover everything you wanted to cover, just leave me a comment and say, hey, can you go over this? Can you go over that? And I will make a tutorial on that. New year, new me. Happy New Year's 2018. Let's jump this thing off right. And let's see where I'm at on the time. See if I went, went over everything. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm good on time. So, Happy New Year's again. This is Double K Beats. Tuning in, tuning out. Oh, I think I went over everything. That's why my brain's all messed up. Give me a sec. Okay, one more thing. If you reverb, if I reverb, I add an EQ after that. So I didn't go over this. Reverb, add an EQ so you'll get just just that sound that you want, not on the whole. Bow on the dive, bow on the dive. Bow on the dive, bow on Focus, focus in on just what you got cutting off. So that's what I like about EQing a reverb, especially because I don't like my vocals to drown out to reverb unless that's the sound he wants and we're going for. Cause, but you still have to mix a reverb in. You can't just plug it on there and just think it's old because that mix can be all messed up with them vocals being in the background like that. So that's what I wanted to show y'all. Now I covered everything. I got everything done. If you want to know more, leave me a comment. And oh, also go to Noonie 1117 Instagram. Follow your boy. Whole bunch of funny videos. Noonie 1117 at Noonie 1117 on Instagram. Go follow your boy. And a lot of funny videos for y'all to get a laughter off of. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in the tutorial. Give me the time today. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button so you'll be notified every time I post something. I normally say this at the beginning, so if you watch this video to the end, you got it. Thank you.